Hey guys, and welcome to the review of episode number 12 of the Escape of the Seven. Um, from one crazy episode, we go to the next one. Um, let's wrap it up from the beginning. We had like the press conference, like the end of it. Um, sadly, Luca showed once again how powerful the program really is is they literally could just DDoS a whole area of um, of Seoul. Um, they also phoned them, right? And then K um, was able to K was able to To scare the reporters, to make them also uh, post um, about Harmony and Mindoyok having an affair, um, so they turned the whole um, the whole domestic thing against them and uh, cleared the name of uh, Chansok in some way. Also, uh, when they wanted to reveal the confession video to the public, um, they got rid of the whole servers. Chan Song was there to get rid of like the power, um, the power like 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 the power of the, of like uh, um, of the Songshan group. Um, yeah, and so they lost everything to them. But, um, yeah, we won something as well, of course. Um, we had another press conference where Mindoyok finally uh, got to be the, um, the new chairman of Songshan Group. Um, she resigned as a chairwoman, and they also made the uh, they also attacked K once again in the public with uh, yeah not being Iwiso instead being instead being K. Um, he was having like a mental breakdown of doom. <laughs> um, and and yeah, uh, but obviously, I think the biggest point of this episode was really the the the, the twist of. Um, saying Hanmone and Mindoyok having an affair that kind of turned Mone to the f to the to the position to um, again go to Changsok and pretend to be his wife, right? Um, And yeah, well, they even kissed at the end. Um, she wanted to make sure that the family is like not there anymore um, until she's doing that. So the mother got safe, safely with the brother uh, onto an apartment, uh, which got bought by by Monet. She also like has put some money for them there. Onto a bank. Yeah, and after they had an amazing day, and I think that really was like it really hurt because you know those situations are mostly the preparing of something very very bad happens to to most of those characters. Uh, we have to see. Um, 
but overall I really really love this little arc here. I really loved it because um, you can really see like some sincerity here and some honesty uh, in Chan Chulan's uh, speech as example or like in the in the fun with Minto York and Chinmo. Um, oh, when Chudan was talking about imagine uh, uh, Myungji and, and Kim Lai would be there as well. Oh, that was really that was really um, adorable. I really loved that. And I also want to quote um, when she said um, it said that when you have like a good uh, when you have like like a good childhood then you will live with always remembering it right um and kind of um yeah i don't know how the word is um but to treasure those those memories um, and when you when you had like a bad childhood, then you will live with yeah with like the 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 thoughts of healing the wounds out of the bad childhood. And I guess that's such a good saying. Um, I also had not the best childhood, so I can really speak for that um, part. So it's basically like if I achieve something in my life now like in in a in an age of like 26 25 26 you know guys um then i really cherish those those moments moment moments kind of but i'm not really when i i having those 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 feelings it's not really nostalgic where i think back it's more like just existing in that moment and having like like um and a possibility to escape from those from those um from those thoughts from the like like that that has hurt in 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 the past um like i don't know like the damage is always there and i guess if you have like a really good moment then and like you you are one who like had a bad childhood you you could be a bit more emotional in those situations if you know what i mean because it's not just a pleasuring moment like it's not just a moment where you're happy it's also a moment where a bit of pain is just um yeah it's just falling um falling down of your soul you know like um something like that and <sighs> so i could really 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 see that um and obviously i want to mention that was such a strong move uh also want to quote the sentence of Monet. She's now doing her last act and yeah. Wait. Okay, sorry. <laughs> It's just that hornets are really, really like here. Here are many hornets overall, um, and I had so many in my in my in my apartment. Um, that's why I just wanted to ch wanted to check something. Um, but yeah, that's her last act now, and uh, yeah, the, the 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 greatest performance she's going to do now. Um, and I kind of felt that. I kind of felt that. that that's literally that what she said, right? She she is quitting um acting and all of those like is uh, is quitting to 
being an idol to being an, a celebrity and <sighs> but for last time he's doing an act now and i really loved it i really loved it guys thanks for watching with me this episode if you watch this here on youtube don't forget to check out my patreon link to that is in the description and otherwise we see us hopefully in the next episode see you there guys bye bye